What the tech is going on friends this is Vicky from Indicoder giving a warm welcome to my channel and in today's video we are going to make our android home screen look awesome. Now some of you may don't like it but I guess most of the people will. All the necessary links will be provided in the description below so that being said let's get started. Now the first requirement is a third party launcher and like most of the other people I prefer Nova launcher doesn't matter if it's free or the prime version. First go to the settings then home and then select Nova launcher and after that add the apps that you need on your home screen. Now press on options then Nova settings go to the desktop option and set the desktop grid to 6x5. Make sure you disable the persons then search bar for scroll effect choose the one which you like and set the page indicator to none to make your home screen look cleaner. And yeah, make sure you turn off the wallpaper scrolling. On the app and widget drawer section enable swipe to open. For this setup I think apps on the dock look best. So make the dock background simple rectangle and the transparency to 95%. Now for the wallpaper download it first and then select it. Go to the options set as Nova wallpaper and make sure the alignment is center. Now zoom as your wish and then apply. To make the icons look better go to the Nova settings again and then look and feel and then select the icon theme as Calendia. Link is in the description below. Now all the icons will become circular and it looks cute. But for the home skin it doesn't look good at all. So for this I prefer ion pack. Click and hold on an icon and then click on edit. Click on the icon and then select ion. And then select the icon which suits the app most and do it for all others. Now it looks like the portal effect from the Doctor Strange movie right? And now for the widget the core element is super widget although the pro version is highly recommended. Hold on your screen click on widgets then scroll down and select super widget 3 by 2 and add on your home screen. Now resize it according to your choice. Then tap on it and you will have some built in widgets but for extra you can download the candy skin. For this you need the pro version. And then select this one. Increase its scale a bit if you need. Now the cool thing about this curvy line is that it is the battery indicator. So to make it red click on the widget. Click on layout then progress bar. And then change the forward color to dark red and background color to lighter red and that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this setup. If you then make sure you hit the like button leave down a comment and don't forget to subscribe anyhow for the more videos like this in the future. And if you are wondering that what's this red line then it's a multitasking app named Swiftly Switch. I have a detailed review on that app so make sure you check that out. And I have just changed its color to red. So yeah guys thank you for watching see you guys later and peace.